It's more defined in terms of exploring, you know, what is on the horizon, etc. So that's, that's one of the things that I love about this conference is that rather than um, focusing it on, on just the most popular framework at the moment, like, uh, or something like scaling agile, etc., which would be very easy. And we could probably fill a conference with that quite easily. Um, we deliberately don't do that. What we do instead is saying, what's on the horizon? That's the, that's, that's sort of the tagline for this conference this year. Um, from agile capital A to business agility, like in terms of, uh, the agility definition of the adjective of being, um, of being flexible, of being adaptable, of being able to learn quickly, being quick on your feet, those kinds of things. Um, so this is the, what we're hoping to accomplish um, is just a gathering place for a lot of the people in the industry who share this sort of bent towards where are we going? What is coming up next, right? What is on the horizon? But at the same time, I think uh, the lovely thing about this conference is that it's about, um, it's in many ways, it's about sort of uh, looking at the boundaries of things. Uh, precisely what we've been talking about. It's like, um, where will we learn our next major lessons? One of the popular, one of the most popular things in the agile arena of sorts um, of the over the past few years has been what psychological safety. Where is that coming from? That's not coming from organizational theory. That's coming from psychology. It's coming from looking at uh, teams and some pretty um, tough situations like in hospitals and, and things like this. Um, and of course, discovering that this is highly relevant. I mean, uh, I think it was Google's Arist uh, uh, Project Aristotle that uh, placed this as the number one criteria for successful teams. Where will our next major uh, inputs be coming from? I sort of doubt that they will be coming from traditional management. <laughs> so we have to look outside of ourselves. We have to, uh, so, so that's, the, that's the second thing that I sort of love about this conference is that it's, um, it's inclusive. It's deliberately inviting to people, not necessarily in the agile arena at the moment, but who are working on things that we can gain a lot of learning from about how to elevate our game.